Well, welcome back, family on the internet. Um, if you've made it this far, this is the first video of three I've done today. Uh, obviously, be coming out after each other. Well, thanks. Uh, I commend you, or should I be a commit you? I'm not sure which. Um, but anyway, last job of the day is um, oil change, which I've done no end of times before. If you want to see an in-depth oil change, have a look. There's there's loads on the channel. Uh, just put in ARD S3 oil change or something along those lines. It'll come up. Um, so oil change and cabin filter is the last two jobs I've got to do today. Um, if you've been joining me through this, again, thank you. If you haven't, uh, the first job was a Haldex or Haldex oil change, filter change. Second job was a fuel filter. Uh, this is the last job of the three, uh, which is uh, like I say, oil change, engine oil change, and also, yeah, cabin filter. On the channel as well, um, the last video I did a few months back was uh, changing the oil in the gearbox and the transfer box as well. So if you want to know how to do that, have a browse through the channel, okay? It's all there. Um, everything I do on the S3 is documented on YouTube. Uh, well, almost everything. And also, yeah, do a lot of work on the A3 as well, which the wife has. So if you're looking for informational stuff, have a look around the channel. Anyway, thanks for joining. Let's uh, you see, I've got it up in the air. We've got it turned around now. Get the bottom panel off and drain the oil. Simple as. Okay, the bottom panel's off. Um, only held in by these little Torx type screws. There you go. There's only six of those to hold that in. Um, so the oil filter, let me get some light on you. Oil filter is just there. Again, in past videos, you would have seen me uh, doing this in quite good detail. Uh, the drain plug is, let's turn you around. It's around the back there, just there. So I'm going to pop that off first of all. Drain the oil that's in there out, uh, and again, it's not got many miles on it, I think, probably I don't know, three or four thousand, I guess, if that. Um, so drain the oil, set the filter off, change the filter, and uh, rinse and repeat. 19 mil for this one. And of course, we all love the bit where it goes pouring down the arm. So, um, yeah, let me video that for you. Just for your entertainment. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, ugh. look at that, all over the hand. Ooh, catch that oil. <laughs> Plug back in again. Again, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Don't go too mad, it only needs nipping up. Quite big bolts, with quite a lot of thread. So yeah, I have a crush washer on the end of them. Um, I just need nipping up. That's all I need. Like that. Bop, bop. There you go. That's all they use. Just thumbs pressure. Bump, bump, bump. That's all it needs. Now to get to the oil filter, and I'll break out my trusty old um, sockets. Um, I think this is about 36, but uh, mine's an old Whitworth thing. It fits on there a treat. So basically, yeah, you've got a bolt as such on the bottom there, even though it's plastic. Put your socket on and lefty loosey. And of course, again, another opportunity to get oil down your arm. Let's move my bowl a bit. Here we go. Ah, missed. <laughs> Oh, look at the mess. <laughs> right, clear up. Clear up an oil free. There you go. Quick inspection. Yes, it's black. But, not seeing any sparkly bits. Oh, looks good. And definitely one of the easiest filters to change. So you just pull it out like so. And we'll stick that out the way. Mm, good camera work. Um, and then the new filter just pops in, basically. But, first of all, as I, I've shown this before, a little tab just on there. You pull on that little tab. There you go. Can you see it? It's getting it in the light. little tab just there. Pull on that tab. 
it'll fetch the seal out and in your box comes a new seal so always change that old one out a new one in don't forget put the tab up just like that simple as new filter in click let's go and stick it in the car and back in where it lives like that now when you're starting this uh, the light's pretty bad so you're not going to be able to see okay be very careful not to cross thread go really steady really slowly it should go on for the first two or three turns with very little resistance if you get resistance you're cross threaded don't do it it's plastic as i will say don't go mad okay nip it up and then just give it a little Oop. Ooh, <laughs> these socket slips off. That's because I'm trying to do it one-handed. Oh, the joys of the internet. But anyway, messages, don't do it too tight. That rubber seal will do its job. And the cap back on. Done! Now the topper up again. I need the good stuff for the old girl. Miller's. And of course, using the best funnel in the world. About four and a half litres is a good starting point. Right, let's see what the dipstick says. Dipstick says... I'm not quite full yet. And now the dipstick says... Oh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, right, so I'm going to start the engine up now and just let that circulate round and that will drop down a bit, top it up, and then we're done. There's a message. Says I need a service. Nice. That'll do. Right. Do that a minute and then check the level. Look at Mr. B getting really busy. Hello, Mr. B. There he is. Oh, look at him. He's a beauty. Now the dipstick says. Oh, I need some more. Oh, thank you. That's just right. <laughs> oh dear. So as you can see, what you need to do is obviously fill it with oil, give it a quick run just to circulate it around the block, leave it a couple of minutes to settle, and then top it up again. So a lot of people say that these engines are terrible and they use oil, blah, blah, blah. Um, I must have a good one because, to be honest, I put half a litre in this between services. Uh, and even when I was using it as a daily driver, which I'm not anymore, um, it, it wasn't really using a huge amount of oil. Um, doesn't smoke and doesn't make any crazy noises. I mean, I do look after it, don't get me wrong. But um, yeah, it doesn't seem to burn oil at all. So I've obviously got myself a good one. Either that or Miller's is good oil to use. One of the two. Anyway, we'll get the bottom plate put back on again and uh, put it back on the floor. And that is it. Bottom panel back on. And back down on the floor again. So once again, thanks for joining me for what was for me today, but for you will be free videos. Uh, thanks for that. Um, subscribe, like, do all that usual sort of stuff if you want to. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a bit of content on the S3. Probably long overdue, to be honest. I know a few people have been asking for it. Uh, and now you have it. Um, so this year, yeah, I mean, she's had a lot of love, bless her. Uh, obviously, oil change ready for the winter. Uh, fuel filter we've just done. Uh, obviously, the gearbox oil, transfer box oil, and the Haldex has now been done. So all the fluids have been changed, basically. So just one more thing to do, and this will take literally seconds. Let me take you through it. So last little job, and this is going to be more by feel. <laughs> so the camera work's probably going to be horrendous. Um, cabin filter. Right, let me try and get you in position. I'll turn you around upside down. Whoop. You ready? Oh, make you dizzy. Right, so there is a 
the, uh, there's a protective cover there. Over here, you ain't gonna be able to see this. Okay, there's um, there's a little screw. Let me turn you around the other way. You're gonna be dizzy, right? So, um, little screws out. I got a feeling there's another one somewhere up here. Uh, no, no, that's the only one. So that that panel. Let me go back a bit. That panel comes out like that. It just literally tucks up there. And inside here, um, there is a door. Uh, again, let's turn you upside down. You may see it, you may not. There's a door, and basically you get your fingers on it, you slide it off like that, and in there is a cabin filter. So uh, let me get that changed. Right, let's pull it out. It's gonna, oh, God, look at the bugs. Look at the bugs. Oh, God, it's disgusting. There you go, so that's all it is, one cabin filter. Um, the angled bit, <laughs> let's get you back in focus again. The angled bit goes towards the outside of the car, so let's get the new one in there. God, that's, that is filthy. Yeah, oh, look, bless them. i give you instructions. <coughs> Don't need those. So again, not gonna be easy to see, um, but that basically now goes back up into its little hidey hole, um, and I need to see it, so you'll have to wait. <sighs> Okay, so that is back in place again. Now I need to put the trap door on there. Yeah, again, really not sure what you can see, if anything. <laughs> I doubt you can see a thing. Um, but yeah, the trap door's back in place again. So that's where it is, um, but I can't video it because all I can see at the moment, and uh, yeah, I feel for you, um, is bugs and black. <laughs> so yeah, that was an appalling video. Thanks, Reeves. And the cover's tucked back in there again, that thing there. Um, so again, sorry, it's really hard to video that, but um, it's on the passenger side, it's under the glove box, and once you've pulled this uh, sort of foam cover down, um, it's quite explanatory. There's a door that slides towards the outside of the car, and then you just pull the old filter out, slam a new one in. There you go. So, again, thanks for joining me. Um, I've now got some bugs to clean up. Ugh, horrible things. Um, you're considering that was changed last year. Um, yeah, that's, that's got some bugs. Wow. Hmm. Anyway, right, thanks for joining me. Uh, as I say, like, subscribe, do all that usual sort of stuff. It does help me. Um, I hope you enjoy the channel, and I hope you enjoy the content. Uh, I know it's a bit random. Uh, decorating's taken over at the moment, and I'm getting back to that a bit later. So, look forward to another video about decorating. If you hate those videos, yeah, skip it. I can understand. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot. I'm waffling. I don't need a drink. I need to clean myself up. Have a great day, whatever you're doing, and I will see you soon. Bye, all. Hey, I've just noticed. Look, they give you instructions how to change it as well. Hey, here's the comical bit. It takes 12 minutes. Hmm, okay. There you go. Under the glove box, take the foam bit out, slide the thing, stick it up.